Captivate Sync is the WordPress plugin from Captivate Podcast Hosting and Analytics that allows you to manage your podcast directly from your WordPress website and synchronize data between that website and your Captivate account. The Captivate Sync plugin is something that will allow you to manage multiple shows across several websites and that will allow you to have complete granularity and total control over how and when you manage and sync those podcasts to the websites that you run. Just like every high quality WordPress plugin, you can find Captivate Sync inside the WordPress plugin repository by doing a quick search for the Captivate Sync plugin here in the search bar. And once found, you can install and activate as you typically would with a plugin. Alternatively, you can find Captivate Sync inside the website section of your Captivate show. Right here at the top right, you can go ahead and download that plugin. That will require you, of course, to manually upload and activate the plugin on your WordPress install. Once you have the Captivate Sync plugin installed, you'll find yourself with a brand new section under the menu bar over here inside WordPress. And the first thing you're going to be asked to do is to authenticate your account, which will basically link up Captivate Sync in a very secure way to your Captivate account. And the way to do that is to follow the instructions inside authentication here and to grab the API key from your account right here under the API key section. Click that and it will give you everything that you need. Once authenticated, you will then have the ability to synchronize shows across Captivate and through to your WordPress website. So if I come back in to my Captivate account, you'll see that, look, I've got all of these podcasts. And inside the section on Captivate Sync back in WordPress, I've got this button called Add Remove Shows. If I click this, it allows me to pick from a list of all of the podcasts that are mirrored from this list here in Captivate and go ahead and choose which of these shows or which number of shows do I want to synchronize into this particular WordPress website. So I'm going to choose this one, Steel City Business, and I'm going to choose Select and Sync Shows. And when I do that, what the plugin does is it goes off to Captivate via that authentication and says, hey, bring everything over for me. Go and get all the episodes and give me something to work with here in WordPress. And you'll see that that's reflected right here. I've got a new section in the menu called Steel City Business. Now that I've chosen which podcasts to synchronize between my WordPress site and my Captivate account, all I need to do is to decide how to display these podcasts. Now, an important point to note is that Captivate Sync will work with almost any type of WordPress install, and in particular, any type of theme, whether that's a pre-built theme that you purchase from somewhere like Theme Forest, or whether it is indeed a custom-built theme that you've had built or that you've built yourself. And in fact, Captivate Sync will work with pretty much every page builder, including Divi themes, including Elementor, and including, of course, things like Beaver Builder. So we have gone to great lengths to make sure that you can display your podcasts however you would like them to. And if you need any more information on that, myself and the Captivate support team can give you information on how Captivate Sync works with those themers. So first of all, I'm going to talk to you about the page mapping option. And right here, I have a sample page in my WordPress website. It's an empty WordPress website, and I've got an empty sample page. What I can actually say here is, Captivate Sync, go ahead and assign this podcast to this page. And what will happen is that it will pull it through automatically. Simple as that. Now, what's wonderful about this is that Captivate Sync respects your URL structure. So each of these URLs is completely specific to your podcast. It will completely respect the WordPress URL structure that you've chosen. And it will completely respect your theme. And it's the theme that dictates how this looks. That's the point of a theme. What I can also do in here is decide, hey, Captivate Sync, can you make sure that on my website, all of the podcast episodes get assigned to the WordPress author that I choose? That's just a little tidying up that you can do 
to make things look a little bit more coherent on your site. And it's one less thing that you have to manually update. The second thing that I could do here is I could either unassign the page or I could just choose this box and uncheck it and tell the system not to display episodes on that page. And that then gives me the flexibility. If I flick back to my sample page, you'll see that actually this is back to being an empty page. What I can now do is use the short code builder to get really granular and specific on exactly how I want these episodes to appear. Clicking the short code builder brings up a nice, simple page that you can use to customize your short code. And I can choose things like which show do I want to build this short code around? How do I want the layout to look from a list or a grid? Where do I want the image to be? Where do I want the content to be, if at all? Do I want to show the full text or the excerpt? Do I want to show specific length of content? Where do I want the podcast player to be? Where do I want the link to be? And in particular, if I choose where I want the link to be, what do I want the link to say? And so on and so forth. We've got complete control over how this looks. And it really respects WordPress. Okay, it works so well with WordPress. And all I do once I've chosen these options is I click generate shortcode, copy the shortcode, and then go ahead, edit the sample page, which should be empty, paste that shortcode in, update, and then go ahead, view the page, and the same thing has happened. Now, that looks very similar to what we had previously, but the beauty of the shortcode is it gives me complete functionality and it gives me complete customization over what happens. So as an example of this, what I could choose to do is say, well, let's increase the excerpt length or let's get rid of the link or let's move the player. So what I'll do is I'll do those very things. I will change the link. I will change the player to below the content, and I will generate a brand new shortcode. So if I copy that again, remove this shortcode, paste the new one in, and off we go. We can go ahead, save that page, and refresh. And you can see here now, get full episode, and the player is beneath the excerpt. Captivate Sync is very, very simple, and it mirrors much of Captivate's functionality in that Actually, I can see all of my episodes right within WordPress. I can get the share links that you would expect. And right here within Captivate, you'll see it just looks the very same. I can also publish episodes right from my WordPress website. And if I go through this process again, it looks very similar to what you'd see on Captivate right here. The only difference is when you publish an episode, over on Captivate Sync, you get the ability to add your featured images for WordPress and your website categories and website tags as well. So use Captivate Sync to synchronize and streamline your podcasting process with WordPress. And if you have any questions, let us know via support or, of course, if you're viewing this on YouTube, in the comments.